Hi, I'm Felix Jeu Ado, CEO of Echo Ahmed Solutions. This podcast serves as an innovative and reliable platform for the public to listen to a hot but casual discussion on environmental topics from different perspectives. The second season promises to be an interactive and exciting one. I encourage all of you to join in the discussions that would influence policymakers and government decisions, thereby protecting the environment and its inhabitants. Thanks to all the resource persons who spent the time on the podcast and all our cherished listeners. Over the few months of season one, we had quite a wide range of resource persons coming on these platforms to discuss a wide range of environmental issues. One of the issues that stood out throughout all these conversations was that how can we also as individuals make a change in our daily lives? We kick this podcast off with an episode with Michael Rather talking about industry Bible and industrial upcycling. And we have created the first Industry 5.0 library where you can understand Industry 5.0 at a glance on our website. You can visit our website for more details on this. But simply, Industry 5.0 is a methodology that has been applied in real-life environment to prevent more than 1 million tons of materials and products to become waste. The basics of Industry 5.0 is that waste should not get to its generation stage at all. We can prevent a massive generation of waste by taking a second look at every material that we waste. We also had in-depth conversation with Mr. Nels Boating, who is the CEO of Nel Plus Ghana, where he's using an innovative solution to prevent plastic waste pollution in Ghana. As we take a second look at our waste, we have to actually look at how we can turn this waste or materials that are about to get to be waste into profitable resources that can give us value. Also, we had a chat with Michael Lolusenya, who is the CEO of Greenway International in Ghana. He is also using innovative approach to replace the plastic straws with sustainable bamboo paper straws that is being supplied in hotels, restaurants, and other places. And the money that is generated from the sales of this sustainable straws is invested in planting of trees around the country. According to Michael, he actually motivated the youth that plastics was made not to pollute the environment, but is the irresponsible activities of human that is causing plastic waste pollution. Too much production, too much consumption, and littering. We also had great minds all over the world who have strong passion for sustainable and regenerative environments. Also in our research stories, we had a wide range of conversations from from the implementation of renewable energy systems in developing nations to the use of remote sensing to predict temperature and soil moisture changes even to biodiversity and how human activities are negatively affecting nature. If you missed any of these episodes, they are available on any podcast platforms and I recommend you just catch up with us even as we get into season two of the Green Living Chats podcast. In moving forward, how do we make a change? From our research stories, we realize that there is a wide gap between research and the industry. Day in, day out, there are PhD students, master students, bachelor students coming out of universities graduating with exceptional research results, which are still lying down in school libraries 
and the desk of professors without any implementation. But if we invest in a lot of scholarships and money into researching, why can't we bridge the gap between how these research results can be implemented in real life? Because researchers are telling us a story that it is very obvious that human activities in the industrial level are affecting the environment and causing climate change and impacting nature negatively. But how come we are not paying attention to this? These are the conversations that we want to get more into and to indicate our audience to add their voice in encouraging the government to make policies that are based on research. But how far is too far? Because it's not just the industries that are polluting. If the industries produce, we consume. What can we do to make a change as well? Are we still in time to save our planet? What will happen if we continue to consume and also to produce other space? Well, plastics are not the source of the problem, is it? What about food waste? It's been proven that huge amounts of food waste are generated each and every day and this contributes to excessive greenhouse gases, if not treated well. But how about technology? Can we use technology to solve the world's environmental issues? What about the numerous materials that are used in packaging? What about the huge amount of fossil fuels that are burned each and every day for our cars? homes and everyday utility? What about the large farms of animals that are reared for meat consumption? Well, what about the people who want to consume sustainable products but they're so expensive? What about the huge amount of water we used in producing the things that we use every day? Have you thought about the amount of water we waste in the washrooms? just for one flash. What about the huge amount of wastewater that are released daily into freshwater bodies which are limited in the world without treatment? These and many more conversations are what we want to engage more in to draw awareness and also to educate ourselves. What can we do in moving forward? So how far is too far? Join us on the next episode as we start season 2 of the Green Living Chat to get into conversations with experts in environmental sustainability and people who are doing as much as possible to create a sustainable environment. You can start now. Green Living is for everyone. Because as the saying goes, when the last tree dies, the last man dies. Biodiversity depends on human in as much as humans also depend on biodiversity and garbage in, garbage out. If we keep producing waste and destroying the environment, Mother Nature will finally respond. So that's it for this episode. See you on the next episode. Until then, live green.